Today at Pro's Park Bass, I'm gonna do something so shocking, so crazy, that this will be a really crazy video, but you gotta hang in there. I have a theory that an amazing, uh, huge Marvel villain has taken over Avengers Campus. I have a theory, not only have a theory, I can prove it. It's taken over by a bad guy. All right, so today on Pro's Park Fest, I'm gonna talk to you about Avengers Campus. Do you realize I have a theory that's completely taken over by a major Marvel villain? Not only can I talk about it, I can prove it. Right now, I am in Avengers Campus. Now, Avengers Campus is amazing, but you know what one thing you don't see a lot of? Bad guys. And I mean, like, why would you? Would you? Bad guys aren't gonna wanna be here because this is basically all the most powerful good guys in the universe to come hang out here. So bad guys aren't gonna wanna, they wanna be tempted. Or would they? Let's think about this for a second. I mean, would they be tempted to be here? I mean, maybe, because there's a lot of amazing tech here, there's a lot of information here, and if they could control this particular Avengers campus, that would give them a leg up. And when they're fighting the bad guys, they know what's going on. And I think there is a bad guy that has completely infiltrated and is running this Avengers campus. I mean, if you were a bad guy, would you want to come here and hang out? I don't know, but if you could steal their tech, you really would. All right, so I know that some of you are like, well, they do have bad guys hanging out here. They have Loki. Is Loki a bad guy? I think he's more of a morally gray character, and he's kind of become an anti-hero, maybe, in a way. Now, they did have Taskmaster when Avengers Campus first opened up, and Black Widow would fight Taskmaster and defeat him, her, at the very end. So I don't know if that really counts as a bad guy. Other than that, you don't see a lot of bad guys here in the campus. Now, what kind of a bad guy could take over here at Avengers Campus? Let's break this down. Number one, this villain is going to have to be somebody who's incredibly intelligent. They can't just be all brute strength. So maybe that like eliminates like the rhino, right? That's, you know, it's more of a brute strength, more of a soldier character. So this, this bad guy, somebody who's gonna have to be sophisticated, they're gonna be smart, they probably have to be strong too, in order to infiltrate and take over Avengers Campus without anybody knowing. Another thing that they probably have to do is they probably have to wreak havoc here on the campus, but kind of in a subtle way so most people don't know what's going on because they don't want to announce their presence. So what could they do? Well. They could do this. I think the first thing that this particular villain did is I think they leaked a little bit of gamma radiation out into the public. Now gamma radiation, we all know that it made the Hulk, but it also made abomination. It could go either way. It's just a destructive force. And there has been leaking here in Avengers Campus. I'll show you. So right outside this exit here, this open house exit, you're gonna go right along here. And what do you see? You see this. Caution, gamma radiation. And look, it's leaking right there. It's leaking right there, and if you look over right here, we see another one right there. And look, if you look underneath, you can see the gamma radiation has leaked all over the building. And what has it done? Look at this tree. It's affected this tree. They call this the whole tree. Look how big the bottom is there. Look at that. And also it gets up to normal. Gamma radiation is affecting the wildlife here, the vegetation here on Avengers Campus. That can't be good. So you go to an open house, this web, web sense for a worldwide engineering brigade. And while you're there, what happens? These spider bots, they go out of control. They start replicating. And it looks like it's just a bug. Pun totally intended. But no, and like Spider-Man's like, uh, hey Sharon, can you fix that? It's in self-replication mode, stop fixing. They're like, sure. But what ends up happening is that these spiders end up overtaking the point where they're not just self-replicating, they start getting into the goo, that the radiation, the radiation, the gamma that we've already discussed, and they start getting bigger and bigger and they start to wreak havoc all through Avengers Campus in the PM, in the Tavon collection and also the Web Brigade. They start taking over all of Avengers Campus. And you think at first, like, oh, this is a cute little bug. No, they've been programmed to do that. Here we are at Web Slingers, and this is where they go in. And you think that'd be a nice little open house, but you end up having to fight spider bots because they've been programmed to take over Avengers Campus. That kind of makes sense too, if you think about it, because I mean, they are taking over everything. In fact, that even some of them have escaped and they're still around Avengers Campus. I can show you. They're still trying to wreak havoc even after you've been successful. Let's take a look. You see we got a spider bot that's still captured up there, right there by the web suppliers. As you walk down here, you're gonna come down here and you're gonna see right there in the grate, the spider bots have burned through the grate and they're escaping. And what do we have up there? A spider bot captured, trying to go over and take over the whole Avengers campus. Now you might be wondering, well, who is this bad guy? I'm gonna give you some hints for you to think about. Number one, I'll give you this big hint. Hyper intelligent individual. Number two, main one of the main arch nemesis of Spider-Man. That eliminates a lot but it makes sense. Now, when you think of Avengers Campus, who do you think is the main hero represented here in Avengers Campus? For me personally, it's Spider-Man, because you, I mean, you, you got the web slingers, you've got the web gear, you've got, I mean, there's a lot of web slinger stuff here. So I always think of Spider-Man. Of course, there is Pam, and you got the Avengers Quinjet, you see Iron Man periodically, and Captain America. 
But without Fell, when I think of Avengers Campus, the, the hero I think of the very most here is Spider-Man. I think he has the biggest presence here on Avengers Campus. Of course, having a large presence here on Avengers Campus, that's gonna attract your biggest nemesis here. So let's talk about some of uh, the big nemesis that Peter Parker has. You got Green Goblin, you got Electro, you got Dr. Octavius, you got the Shocker, you got the Rhino, he's got so many, and even Venom. These are some amazing villains, and they, will, they come here and they're trying to infiltrate Avengers Campus. At least one of them has, so that's another hint. Now you can eliminate it, down you know it's one of those. Put it down in the comments down below if you think you know who this villain is who's taking over Avengers Campus. Of course you have web suppliers over here. You got the open house of the web slingers, the Worldwide Engineering Brigade. And this is all Spider-Man stuff. That's why I think he has the biggest footprint here. A number three thing that's happened here at Avengers Campus, where they have accidents happening, is when Spider-Man goes off and does his little show in front of everybody, he ends up flying through and he has a problem with his suit. He can't flip, he lands. You hear him, like, deploy the airbags. I think it's his nanotech. It's been infiltrated by one of those super villains. That's another example of how they're taking over Avengers Campus. Oh, me? Well, you know, just spider stuff. Okay, time to run some tests. Spider-Man. Oh, hey, Sharon. Shall we conduct an altitude test? Yeah, I guess I should do some work. Always good to have the data. On my way. Just need to find a clear path and something to swing from. Sharon, everybody, please. Ask Mr. Stark for airbags. I'm good. I'm good. Did you guys know that Spider-Man actually had a car, but he hated it? He said it drove him up the wall. Probably drove him right up that wall right there. <laughs> to get ready for this video, guys, I had to put on my special socks. Uh, da -da 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 -da, Spider-Man socks. I kind of wish Spider-Man played baseball for the Padres because he catches all those flies. All right, guys. Now let's go into the deepest part of this theory. I'm gonna start proving it to you not right now. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's go to the web suppliers. This is where I can prove that a bad guy has taken over Avengers Campus. Now one of the first things you're gonna see when you come in here, of course, is spider bots. Little tiny spider bots. Also, when you come in here, you notice that they're selling a lot of these little mini bots now. Everything with these spider bots. I think this is a plan of the evil mastermind villain to try to infiltrate our homes. You'll understand in just a moment. Not only do they want the spider bots to take over Avenged Campus, but they want the spider bots to go home and take everything over. The spider bots. That's really the key to the plan. All right, so what I'm about to reveal to you has never been revealed before. It's gonna blow your mind. This is the proof to support my theory that a major villain has taken over Avengers Campus. And you have to look at the children's clothing section. What? All right, if you look down at this shirt, and this is the only shirt that does it, this, this particular design right there, spider bot diagnostics. Spider bot, mission support unit, next gen assembly bot, right there. Now, I'm going to hang it up here, and you'll notice, oh my, there's printing on the back of this shirt. Let me hang it up so I can hold it. You have printing on the back of the shirt. And what does the printing say? Get the light. Thermal camera activated, we've got uh, mode initialized, and multi-tool. But, as you look down at the very bottom, right here on this shirt, right here, this is it. Replicate Assembly Focused AI Air. And what does it say? Rogue Code Found. Somebody has entered Rogue Code into the spider bot. Who could have done it? Well, right down there, guys. It says Octavius Octavirus Doc. That's right. Doc Oc has infiltrated the Avengers Campus. He's put his virus into these spider bots. They're self-replicating because of Doc Oc. We have proof of it right here. Octava. I see it right here, the virus, V-I-R-U-S, the Octavirus, Doc, as in Doc Oc. Ah. It's right there, guys. Dr. Octavius is taking over Avengers Campus. He's here, he's intelligent, he's got some super strength, and he's smart, and he wants the tech. He's using this right here, these, uh, these spider bots, to keep the Avengers uh, busy while he can steal everything that's going on here in Avengers Campus. Oh my gosh, this is the first that you ever heard about right here, guys. We now have proof that there are bad guys infiltrating Avengers Campus. And this children's shirt right here in uh, this web store right here is the only proof that we have a villain here in Avengers Campus and we now know it's Dr. Octavius. He's wreaking havoc here, guys. Can you believe it? And it's on the children's shirt. Only this gray one though. That one right there. Not that one, not these ones. 
only on this shirt right here. Doc Ock is so mischievous, he hid it in just the littlest children's clothing line. What? That's right. Dr. Octavius is here on Avengers Campus. We have a villain here, which makes sense. I mean, you have to have a villain. And the villain is running amok here. He's controlling all the spider bots. He's doing all these amazing things here. He's giving uh, Peter Parker a bunch of grief, all because of Dr. Octavius. That is not a self-replicating bug error. It's Dr. Octavius. So next time you do web slingers, when you're fighting those robots, who are you really fighting against? Doc Ock. What? And it also more makes sense, because what does a spider have? Eight legs, guys. Eight legs. And octopus, eight arms. By the way, how many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? I'd say 10 tickles. <laughs> if you like this type of comment, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that like button. I mean, this has been a lot of fun. I did a lot of research on this. I'm proud to be able to find this. This is the only place I think you've ever seen this about here, Dr. Octavius being here at Avengers Campus. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys, because it really shows me that you like these videos. And if you can also hit that like button, that also shows me that you like this type of uh, content we're creating here at Disney California Adventure. You guys are the very best. I just want to take a quick little moment to tell you how awesome you are. You're amazing, just like Spider-Man. You are absolutely amazing. Do not forget that, never forget that, ever, ever, ever. And if you ever feel lonely, or if you ever feel sad, just take a deep breath, take a deep breath and remember that how amazing you are, just like Spider-Man. Well guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.